So I'm going inside a replica house of Leif Erikson, the house he was born in. Are you going to start a fire? I see what you mean. So the house can be taken apart, disassembled, not, not necessarily with nails or anything mm -hmm. like that, just with posts. Yeah. Oh. They could just move around. If it got colder in this place, they would go further south. For this season, fish there, and then they would move off up north again. But they, were, they are nomads, so... Mm -hmm. So they needed to move mm -hmm. to survive, yeah. and because they didn't, they died. Yeah. Interesting. Their way of living just it didn't fit to the... Yeah. To, to the nature at that point. And they have found ruins of these houses in uh, Newfoundland also. Oh. And that's our biggest proof of life Ericsson going to America. America. Yeah. It, that was a very normal way of uh, sleeping here in Iceland until the uh, 19th minute. Just up, upright like yeah. that. I've been sleeping in my car like that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been pretty comfortable. So they would sleep two in each of these beds, 20, about 25 people, just as many slaves on that side, family on this side. It's not being used as a hot tub anymore, mainly as a wishing well. Let's check out a little hut. It may be a sauna or a resting room. Ooh. 